consumers are are con are concerned and the changing global patterns of food production international trade technology public expectations for health protection and many other factors have created a huge demand for food safety and quality amongst the uh, and such professionals are in demand in india so what are the objectives of pgdf fiscem program the ob objective the basic objective of the pg diploma program is to prepare professionals for development implementation and auditing of food safety and quality management systems in the country the program has been developed in collaboration with agricultural and uh, processed food products export development authority which is apida of the government of india uh, in fact this program seeks to develop india's capability to meet the global uh, food safety and quality requirements and enhance the competitiveness of a uh, food production and the long term perspective and it would also contribute to ensure customer safety within within and outside the country so in an uh, effort uh, to have consumer safety in mind and to prioritize on the same the pgdf scheme program has been established by igno so what are the brief objectives of this program uh, in fact the brief objectives of this program is one can comprehend after studying this program one can comprehend the issues of safety and quality in food production handling processing and trade build technical proficiency in undertaking food safety and quality assurance in food processing chain that is from farm to fork to ensure the safety and quality of food products as per the mandatory legal requirements and voluntary standards including expert re regulations if required uh, design and implement good hygienic practices good manufacturing practices hazard and a critical uh, uh, control point quality management systems like iso 9001 your food safety management systems iso 22 uh, 22000 laboratory management system and iso you will also be able to effectively plan conduct report and audit as per the guidelines of the iso uh, iso 2002 undertake standard microbiological and chemical analysis of food products apply good hygienic manufacturing laboratory transportation and retail practices in food processing hospitality industry and retail outlets so these are some of the brief objectives of this program as for the job opportunities which are available uh, for the pgdfs kms learners is they can definitely be a, a con quality control officer or quality assurance they can uh, be a quality control officer or quality assurance in food safety and quality management they can also be a, any professional in food hospitality and retail they can also be a food safety officer in the regulatory bodies Uh, they can also be a food auditor in certification and inspection bodies they can also be a trainer counselor in food safety and quality management systems uh, they can also be uh, certifying for food auditing professionals for safety and quality management systems so these are some of the job opportunities uh, which a learner can avail after studying the pgdf scheme program because many of times uh, we have inquiries wherein uh, students are interested in uh, in this field especially being a quality control officer or a quality or being uh, working in a quality assurance cell for such learners this program will be very very helpful So, what is the eligibility criteria? Basically, if you want to study the PGDFS CM um, program, the basic eligibility criteria which is required is graduation in science, like with biochemistry, chemistry, or microbiology as one of the subjects. So, if you are a graduate in science with chemistry, bio, biochemistry, or microbiology as one of the subjects, you can definitely apply for the PGDFS CM program. Otherwise, you can also have a degree in allied sciences. as like agriculture food science food technology post harvest technology engineering home science life science microbiology biochemistry biotechnology horticulture dairy technology 
veterinary fisheries hotel management and catering hospitality management or equivalent uh, even science graduates uh, in disciplines like geography statistics with physics and max art subjects and medical lab technology with minimum three years experience in food processing and quality control these students should have a minimum one year experience in quality control activities or you can also be an arts a commerce graduate with diploma in food science hotel management disciplines like fruits and vegetables dairy technology uh, meat technology, cereals, pulses, and oil seeds, etc., with minimum five years' experience in food processing, food quality control, hotel management, food preparation, catering, and out of which uh, uh, some uh, uh, experience should be also in quality control related activities. Like you should also have a two years' experience in quality uh, control and activities. Otherwise, if you are a BCom or a BA graduate, uh, then you should have a minimum seven years experience in food processing, food quality control, hotel management, food preparation, food catering, or holding a senior position in government, semi-government units involved in food quality control. So these are some of the basic eligibility criteria wherein uh, a person who is graduate in science with chemistry, biology, micro, biochemistry and microbiology, can directly apply for this program without any work experience but otherwise some sort of work experience is required for applying to this pg dfsqm program one of the highlights of this program i would also like to mention is earlier this program used to be offered only in the july session but from this uh, 2000 january 2022 session onwards this uh, program is also being offered in both the sessions that is in january session as well as the july sessions so uh, we will also go through what is the medium medium of instruction duration and fee structure of the pgd fsqm program this program is available in english language as i said before the duration of this program is minimum one year and maximum you get three years of time i have to complete this program and it is available in both january and july cycle of admissions as far as the fee structure is concerned uh, it's 14,400 for the full program if you want to apply in the January 2022 admission session for which the last date is 10th of February 2022. Uh, basically, I've just uh, given a screenshot of the uh, subjects uh, which you would, be, you would be studying under the PGDFSKM program. Like uh, uh, this program has a, a total of... Uh, 32 credits uh, uh, out of which uh, uh, 32 credits like um, uh, you have MVP1 that is food fundamentals and chemistry, food, uh, food microbiology, food laws and standard, principles of food safety and quality management, uh, food safety and quality auditing, chemical analysis and quality assurance practical and you also have project work. So basically, uh, the theory uh, theory part, you have 18 credits, while in the practicals, you have 14 credits. So total comes to 32 credits. So for completing this program in a year, you have to complete the 32 credits. As you know, IGNO, uh, IGNO credit system is being followed, wherein one credit equal to 30 hours of study. Uh, and uh, out of this 32 credits is the total credits which you have to com uh, complete, uh, uh, you have to pass uh, or you have to attempt uh, to com uh, successfully complete your program of PGDFSQM. You also have a project worker uh, that is MVPPP1 uh, in the PGDFSQM program. For every program of uh, IGNO, like a, if it involves project work, there is a project manual and also there is a program guide for the program. So through the program guide and the project manual, you, you as learners can get a basic idea on how you can uh, pursue this program so that you can successfully complete this program from IGNO. 
so this was all about the pg dfs gm program as i as i shared with you before this uh, session is uh, specifically focusing on the pg dfs gm program and also would have given you a brief overview about the programs which are on offer with you no know? and uh, i'm sure after watching this session you will definitely have got an idea on the programs on offer and you would be definitely be interested in uh, enhancing your job qualification by pursuing certain programs which may be of interest to you from igno so i would just like to highlight once again the last date for applying to igno programs for the january 2022 session is 10th of february this might get extended so please keep on checking our igno website for the further dates the link for the online admissions is igno https igno admission dot samat dot edu dot in and you also have the igno you can also go to our main igno website go to register online and click on fresh admission in case you have any queries pertaining to the session uh, then you may please uh, uh, write to us at rc question at the rate igno dot ac dot in in this regard. So I strongly believe that a firm, with a firm belief in yourself, you can definitely uh, pursue any of the programs from IGNO because IGNO means self-study and the motivation has to come within you to study any of the programs from IGNO. So I would also like to uh, share certain uh, details uh, about IGNO Regional Center Coaching. We have our Facebook uh, account. Request all who are watching this session to kindly subscribe to our Facebook account. We also have our Twitter uh, Twitter account. Please kindly follow us at uh, IGNO Regional Center Coaching. Uh, in our Twitter account. We also have our YouTube channel of RC Kuchin, www.youtube.com slash c slash igno regional center Kuchin. Request to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel of RC Kuchin. Uh, in case you have any doubts pertaining to the session or pertaining to any of the programs on offer at igno, please feel free to write to us at RC Kuchin at the rate igno.ac.in. Further, any of the details like the common prospectors or the brochure, uh, common prospectors January 2022 is available on the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. Kindly log in to our IGNO website or the regional center coaching website, http rccoaching.igno.ac.in and all relevant details pertaining to the programs can be obtained our link for the online admissions is https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. So finally, I come to the end of this session. I'm sure after watching this session, you would have got at you would have got a basic idea about the PG DFSQM program on offer at IGNO and also got an overview about the programs on offer. I take no. So thank you all for watching this uh, session. And in case of any queries, please feel free to write to us at rc at the rate igno.ac.in. Thank you once again.